Good morning and welcome to the Friday, July 24th Let's Talk. I want to start off just by thanking all the employees for all their hard work, uh, for the amazing job that our staff has done for the last 136 days now or so, keeping the residents here at Westminster Village safe, keeping each other safe, and working under really hard conditions. So appreciate all of the work everyone is doing. Um, we had the board meeting yesterday. The board of directors wanted to say a big thank you to all the employees for the hard work they've done, the amazing team that we have here. Um, along with that, we had the commitment letter go out about three weeks ago, and today we did the drawing and we have three winners of a $1,000 gift card. So three $1,000 gift cards, Kevin and Donnelly's was one of the winners. Agnes in home health and Caleb in dietary. So three people with an amazing opportunity to buy me a really cool present for my birthday. Um, let me know and I'll let you have the list of things that I really enjoy. But thank you all for the commitment. Thank you and congratulations to those winners. Um, other thing going on around campus, again, is something I know people really love. It's these, these really cool face shields. Uh, I know these, these things are almost impossible to wear. They're really hard in combination with the, the masks that we have people wearing. And we're doing this because we really believe that it's the PPEs that we have, the equipment we're supplying, really is keeping Westminster Village residents safe. By having that double protection, it really does protect our residents from us. We are the biggest risk to residents in the sense that we go off this campus every single day. Um, you'll notice this one isn't the, the flimsy one that we have. We did order about 160 of these better quality shields. So talk to your manager. We're trying to get these out to the direct care workers first. So if you're in housekeeping, you're in nursing, you're giving showers, you're cleaning apartments, we have these available. Talk to your manager and we'll get them to you. They're, they're better in the sense of you can flip them up if you're walking down the hall and there's nobody around. Um, they obviously look really cool. So, you know, again, our goal is to, we know we have some uh, parts of this that make the job a lot harder, but we, we do want to make sure we provide the best quality and things that work. So again, continue to give that feedback. Uh, this idea came from uh, Lee at Home Health. We asked if we could have something else, a device that wouldn't block vision that wouldn't be as hot so we we went out and found these so again those comments really help and were in most cases able to find a better way of doing things so if something else comes up again you can always call my number 2045 you can call the front desk you can send me an email you can stop by incident command um, but we need to know those things and again these are really important because we have these we've been able to reduce the time off employees need to take after a, a trip or after just having an illness or having an exposure and being able to get people back to work quickly. So devices are really important. I know they're uncomfortable, but again, we're gonna work hard to, to make them better. Um, the other thing that I continue to hear, good and bad, is communication. You know, the, these uh, videos, they're one of my favorite things in the world to do. Um, so I'm happy to be able to do these on a regular basis. But really, we know communication is critical. Uh, we have the Paycom communications going out from time to time, the text communications. Talk to your manager if you want to get on that text list. Um, but we have the daily updates that are going out. We're now sharing all the information that we share with board members and residents and family members with employees. And we've been doing that now for a couple of months. I know sometimes it's overwhelming. So sometimes the, we hear communication is too much, and then other times we hear there's not enough communication. And we work hard to find that balance, um, but we do need to hear you know, feedback from employees on what's working, what's not. So continue to provide that feedback to us, and we'll continue to adjust what we're doing um, to make sure it's working for the vast majority of people. Um, we went to weekly villagers, we're putting out more surveys. Again, it's it's just important that we're you feel we're communicating well with each of you in every department. I know we started, Caroline started putting out 
a lot of our in-services in English and Spanish because of a comment that we received asking for that. So again, keep those comments coming. We'll, we'll keep improving the communication. Um, lastly, and I think this ties into everything, is employee morale. And again, I, I just can't be more grateful for the staff, for the residents. And in these circumstances during a pandemic when you have to wear a face shield and a mask and it's hard to come to work, the attitude that people have, and again, that people are still willing to go above and beyond for the residents, go above and beyond for each other, you know, 140 days into this is just amazing. And we have a ways to go, so we need, we need people to keep that positive spirit up. Uh, we are putting the hero signs back out. I think if that didn't happen today, it's happening tomorrow. Um, and we took them down, not because we didn't feel we had heroes here, but we know that if you have the same sign up for months after month, people stop looking at them. But we want people to look at them again. Again, we're now 130, 40 days into this. And again, everything you're doing every day, it's, it's incredible. And we need you to keep it up and we need to do our part so they can feel the want to keep it up, not just the need. Um, other than that, again, we, we want your feedback, what's going well, what's not going so well, what could we do different? Um, the comments when somebody walks into Incident Command and says, hey, can we think about this? Those, those are amazing and those, that's where we get a lot of our ideas from. So keep those ideas coming. If there is something you need to do your job and do it well, if there's something you need uh, to be able to, you know, keep saying during this, let us know. We, we will do our best. Um, we're gonna continue doing things like the grocery orders and, and some drawings. And you know, I know we extended the PTO time, so there's no cutoff date this year. And we're looking at some other things that we can do, again, as a way to say thank you to all the employees for what they've been doing. And again, we wanna hear that feedback. Um, I heard a few minutes ago that I should auction off my car at the end of this. We're probably not going to do that. I'm not auctioning it off, but do a drawing for it. We're probably not going to do that, but I do know a nice Kia that might be uh, put in a drawing. So if you have other ideas, let me know. And again, just thank you all for all you do every day. Have a good night.